Hi, I'm Christine or Leg Up on Twitch, and today I'm going to be showing you all the game modes available under Play with Friends on GeoGuessr.com. The really cool thing about Play with Friends is that you just need one pro account. So everyone else in your friends group can use that one person's account until you become so addicted you all get pro accounts too. So let's go through all the different game modes and how to set up a party. Click play with friends. Then you'll see all of your previously created parties. I'm going to create a new party here and you'll see it auto creates a name like up's awesome Thursday challenge. All you have to do is change the name of that in your settings. Let's call this one cool YouTube video. So here are the different game modes. Let's go through each of those options. The first game mode we're going to look at is live challenges. Live challenges takes up to 100 players. Since this is the newest game mode on GeoGuessr's website, there is a button in the corner that tells you how to play. Whoever gets closest to each location will score more points. You'll be able to see the standings each round and then one winner will be crowned at the end. A round is how long you have on each of the map locations of the five that you are going to go through with your friends. So choose carefully. If you drop it all the way down to 10 seconds, that means you're only going to have 10 seconds to look around before you have to place a guess or miss out on all the points. If you set it to 10 minutes and one of your friends walks away, the round will not end until 10 minutes have passed. In five rounds, that means you could accidentally create a 50 minute game. Move, pan, and zoom is the other very common setting on all of these game modes. Move allows you to move the Google car down a street. Pan allows you to pan the camera around while staying stationary. Zoom allows you to get closer or further away, again, while staying stationary. If you're brand new to the GeoGuessr website, I recommend staying on the world map or going through the official maps. Check out a country you're interested in or one that you know really well. If you're feeling really confident and you have a pro account, you can even build maps, which is a whole different video. One little trick that you should know is that if you have a game lobby open, you will be asked to either start or discard it. To discard, just open it back up, go to the discard lobby button, no problem. Next up in the game modes, we have Battle Royale Countries. Battle Royale Countries has a minimum of two players and a maximum of 10. It has a lot of the same settings as the other game mode we just went over. One key difference with Battle Royale Countries is that players will be eliminated as the game goes on. Eliminated players will be allowed to spectate, but won't be able to participate. Just cheer on your friends. You can set the number of lives at the beginning of the game. You can change the map. You can change the timer. You're noticing some trends here. Move, pan, and zoom just like before. There are also two little features that you can add, a 50-50 or spy. In 50-50, the game will give you two countries, one correct, one incorrect. You must pick the correct one or you will be out. And that is even if you have lives left. During each round, players will be able to lock in their answers early in order to make sure that they get on the board. If you use spy, you'll be able to see all of the guesses that were locked in. The next game mode is battle royale distance as opposed to countries. Each round, one player who is the furthest away from the spawn point is going to be eliminated. Each time you make it through a round, you'll earn one additional guess. Each time you get the correct country, you'll get one additional guess. And if you are very close, you'll get one additional guess for being very close. So you can spend one guess and get three if you're pretty good at the game. Next up, we have Bullseye. Bullseye is also a relatively new game mode. So there's this handy button in the corner telling you how to play. This game is played over the course of five rounds and in each round, each player gets one guess. So hold on to it until you're sure where you are. You have different circle sizes. The biggest circle will only narrow down a little bit of information and the smallest circle might not hit exactly where you are. Once you place your circle on the map and confirm it, the game will tell you if the location was within the circle, green, or outside of the circle, red. There are lots of different approaches in this game. Maybe you and your teammates are going to start with big circles and then work your way down to small, or maybe you're going to drive your little Google car around and try to figure out exactly where you are and then go right for the bullseye. At the end of the round, the closer you are and the smaller the circle, the more points. 
There are two other cool little features in the game. One is teleport. To teleport, just click on a teammate's name and you can see exactly what they see. Another cool trick is that you can ping on the map by tapping on the map, telling your teammates, oh, I've already placed my guess, but I think it's over here so that you can work together. Bullseye is also one of the few game modes that has the option to set no time limit. Next up, we have duels. Duels are the only 1v1 game mode in this GeoGuessr Play With Friends. In duels, you're fighting over health points, which you can pick here. You can see it starts out with 6,000 health points, although you can change that if you wanna make it harder or easier. Each round, you and your opponent will be guessing where in the world the map location is. The game will then decide who is closer and the difference between the two scores. That difference will then be subtracted from the loser of that round, slowly but surely chipping away at their points. You can turn on things like multipliers and a healing round. You can also modify things like move, pan, and zoom. The game ends when the first person loses down to zero or negative points. The next game mode is Team Duels. Team Duels are incredibly similar to duels, except that you can play with between two and 20 players. Each player will join and pick whether they are on Team Red or Team Blue. All the other game settings are the same. The game determines who the closest player was from each team and then subtracts points based on the difference between the two. I really like this game mode. I think it's a lot kinder to mixed skill tables and it it removes the sudden death smash that duels has where a new player gets annihilated in two rounds. The final game mode is City Streaks. In City Streaks, you actually don't get to pick the map because it's going to be city coverage all over the world. Only cities. This game plays between two and 10 players and you're not going to be at the same location at the same time. As you guess correctly, you'll move on to the next city location. If you guess incorrectly and you go through all of your lives, you'll go back to a checkpoint. The game ends when the game time runs out. In City Streaks, you actually set the entire game duration, not individual round times. That timer will count down the entire game across the top of your screen. As you get locations correct, you'll get a little number next to your name showing how many locations you have correct. If you found this helpful and you'd like to see actual game footage or other tutorials about the different game modes, let me know below. Here are all of the social medias. I stream GeoGuessr on Sunday and Thursday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern under my username leg up. Let me know if you saw this YouTube video and if you would like more content like this.